Frustration among some teachers, the principals, and school administrators were on display at a hearing regarding state standardized testing. WJTV 12's Gerald Harris joins us in studio with more. Gerald? Yeah, that's right. The question on the table at the hearing is whether for a required test for a mid graduation in Mississippi is right for education or simply a burden. I'm not going to school tomorrow. I spent Friday in my classroom crying, real tears. My scores are so low. My 10th graders read on average a fourth grade level. My 10th graders. Many educators like this JPS teacher took to the witness stand to advocate for a better testing model for the state. I want people to understand that our accountability changes every year. Every year our rules change every year. When I think that I'm getting a little bit there, it switches up. Currently, the state requires students to take and pass English 2, Algebra, Biology, and History, something Representative Tom Mao says is unnecessary. People want to for us to come up with a plan to, to do away with excessive testing and, and focus more on the student. You know, no one has ever been able to get a scholarship off of what they've made on a state test, but they get scholarships on the ACT. One Mississippi superintendent says supporters of changing the standards aren't running away from accountability. We just want it to be uh, a relevant thing for students and families, and we find that relevance is in things that can lead to a better future for them. And whether it's SA, SAT, ACT, uh, something that opens opportunities for those students to do well. A bill that would eliminate state testing for history and change some standards died in the Senate last session, something Representative Tom Mao says is unfortunate. We've got a $110 million state testing contract, and some people may be getting brushed on the backside. I think that we need to quit worried about what bureaucrats say and, what, and start listening to our people more. He adds some solutions include testing in the federally required subject areas, but not using them as graduation requirements and to use the ACT model as the benchmark. In the newsroom, Gerald Harris, back to you in the studio.